Sup, Beast Rules. Logan, Pedal Bear, whatever. Hope everybody's having a great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you, veterans. Uh, this is another video about bullying. And by the way, if it isn't Memorial Day weekend when you see this, I hope that you had a good one anyway. And I hope that you thanked your veterans anyway. Like, before I get into it, two things linked in the description. The first one is going to be a long post by Total Biscuit, and the second one, the main focus of this, is going to be a response to that. And I am going to read that now. Hey TB, I just finished reading your last tweet here, and then he links it, where you talk about your past issues with people on the internet. I myself was a shithead on the internet before, basically a troll or internet bully or whatever. I frequented 4chan, still do, although not the same boards, and did my fair share of shit throwing at internet people. I was there during the whole Jesse Slaughter thing and went out of my way to troll Facebook pages of people suffering from rare genetic diseases and I was generally an asshole on the internet. I regret this phase I went through and I still feel very bad about it. Your post made me look back and got me thinking as to why I acted that way. You're right about one thing. My life was miserable. I was bullied. Didn't really have any friends. Crippling anxiety, which all led to a five-year depression that I only recently beat thanks to my close friends and my doctor. So I guess in a way I was just trying to reassure myself that I wasn't the only one who was unhappy. And if someone else was happy, then I was trying to deny them of their happiness like a child who breaks a toy he doesn't want the other children to have. But I found out it ran deeper than that. At the time, I didn't know that I was doing something bad. Sometimes it was just like you said. Internet people are not real, and it feels good to yell at the TV, but most of the time it isn't. Or wasn't. Most of the time, I thought I was doing something good, and the people we bullied were the bad ones. Jesse Slaughter is a 13-year-old vlogging nonsense on YouTube. Better get her off the internet and tell her what kind of awful person she is for doing stupid shit at 13. Amalia Rose's mother is making money just because her daughter has a rare genetic disease. That's not right at all. Better bully her because people should work hard for their money. The list goes on. There's always, there always was an excuse, as stupid as it might be, to turn the table and not feel bad about it. Unsurprisingly, everyone I'd talk to who was in on it also had a shit life, which resulted in these excuses making sense. I really think that everyone who acted like that did it because that's how everyone acted with them. Uh, I assume he means don't get me wrong, but he forgot to get don't me wrong. It is no excuse for this kind of behavior. Just an explanation and no one should be mean to someone because someone else was mean to them. But sadly, violence, be it physical or moral, leads to violence, and that's how we end up with miserable people doing awful things to people. So that these people will want to kill themselves and cope by telling inter internet people to die. So why did I write this exactly? Frankly, I don't know. I just wanted to give my two cents on the subject, and I might just have wasted five minutes of your time. I apologize if I made any English mistakes. For the most part, buddy, you did just fine. I've seen people uh, with English being their first language do much worse. Since it's not my mother tongue, I also apologize for telling you this via paste bin. I wanted to email you but couldn't find a random fan mails address in your about section. Anyway, thank you for being so nice and an overall good person. Good luck with dealing with your current problems. If you didn't know, Total, Bu uh, Total Biscuit has cancer. I think you really uh, deserve the best in life. All right, people. Well, there you go. I, you know, I have said this for a long time. People who bully and troll or whatever go on Facebook and make fun of people uh, are very sad individuals and whereas you know there'll be the one motherfucker that says well I do all this stupid shit and I don't have these home problems my life is great 
Well, okay, you can have that. Uh, you can have that. I won't argue that. If you have a great life and you still are a douchebag on the internet, go for it, man. Go for it. Anyway. Or woman. I don't want to make it sound like all women are angels. I know there are some asshole uh, women, young ladies on here, who like to do the same thing. Go after it. You know, whatever you want to do. However, I saw this and I thought it was it is wonderful. Um, it was very well written for somebody who doesn't even uh, have English as their first language. Uh, and it makes a great point about it all. Is that these people who do this they don't have good home lives generally they don't uh, and that's fine but you know there are things you can do about this and uh, sometimes there isn't sometimes people's lives are so shit and there's nothing they can do about it so they vent their anger on the internet tell people to die make fun of them tell them to burn in hell get cancer faggot whatever uh, but it, but you can always seek help. And hell, if you have access to the internet, that's a great place to vent about what's going on with you. Maybe even get some advice. Google that shit. Learn how to deal with a little bit of anxiety. Um, you know, some people, their parents are the problem. You know, if you say, Mom, I'd like to go to the doctor. I'm dealing with anxiety. You know, she might slap you across the sa face, say, Fuck you. Well, that's probably your problem right there. Then I would recommend maybe calling child services or perhaps a grandparent or uncle or aunt who you are close with, uh, perhaps a teacher um, at uh, your school. Uh, there are always ways that you can get out of it, whatever situation you're in. Uh, you know, if you're an adult, perhaps the debt is piling up. You know, perhaps you're going through a divorce, your debt's piling up, you know, your kids are going through a rebellious phase, you know everything you say to them, it's fuck you, dad, I can do what I want, when I want, and how I want. Well, then you're an adult and you can make your own decisions and you can go to a doctor or a therapist or whatever and get that shit straightened out. However, uh, there is no excuse for being an asshole on the internet. And, of course, I, I feel bad for this guy. I'm glad he's gotten over it. Um, I feel that he shouldn't feel bad about what he done, uh, even though he wholeheartedly admits he was a shithead. He's not anymore, and that's what matters. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, if you want to read either of those, perhaps you have already. Uh, both linked in the description. Um... Like I said, have a great day, everybody. Great weekend, whatever's going on with you. I hope you get that shit squashed and that you can move on. You can be a much happier person. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you next time.